Now, of course, with all formulas, if you've got one, you can rearrange it and find out other stuff as well. So if I've got a conditional formula, a conditional probability formula, like A given B equals the probability of A intersection B over the probability of B, I could rearrange it to find the probability of B, or I could rearrange it to find the probability of A um, intersection B. So, uh, an example. So, read this one here. Uh, pause it if you like. Basically, I went to a rugby game and I said to all of the rugby players, at, at, or a rugby day, and I said to all the players, uh, how many of you do Math C? And it turned out that 20% of them did Math C. Now that's given. That's doing Math C given I already knew that they were rugby players because they were in a rugby jersey. Uh, now, 30% of all Ormiston College students play rugby. What is the probability that I pick a random Ormiston student with my eyes closed and it turns out that they both play rugby and do Math C? So that's... Uh, intersection. So, I can put it into my formula here. This first one, you have to be careful which order it's in. It's 20% of rugby players do Math C. So I already know that they're rugby players, uh, so that's that, and they're doing Math C. Okay, and that's the intersection of C, R, and that's going to be equal to, uh, sorry, divided by the probability that they play Rugby, the probability of the second one. It's always the second one there. Okay, so I know that the probability that they do math C, given I knew that they played rugby, is 0 0.2. And I know that the probability that they play rugby is 0 0.3. But I don't know the probability that they do, uh, that a random student does both. Alright, so that's going to be 0 0.2 times 0 0.3 do both. So you can do that on your calculator. That's going to put it at a very small 0 0.06 or another way of putting it. There's a 6% chance that a student at random plays rugby and does uh, math C. So just because you, as long as you know two of these things, you can find the third thing. The thing that a lot of people make the mistake of is putting the conditional probability the wrong way around, thinking that this first part is RC instead of CR.